so anyway, <clears throat> uh, he went to guard and I took the new car to go shopping with Grandma. And I locked the door and I came out and I got in the car and I put it in reverse and I bet right into the bedroom. <laughs> totally. <laughs> when you backed into it? And I'm looking and I'm thinking, I can't believe this. <laughs> I couldn't even get out. I had to get out of the car in the house. <laughs> and I'm never the door. Never I go back out and I'm looking and I'm the only way I'm going to get out of here is drive out. <laughs> Back in the house, get in the car, drive out. And when I drove out, I hit the fence. I actually didn't hurt it much. Back and through. Well, now when you compare it to the house. So now here it is. I mean, it's like where was Dad? The window is. It's just all gone. It's all gone. Dad was smart. How old are the kids? How old? I was 18. Oh. We had just been married a little while. Yeah. So then. Okay, so then I walked the garden to tell your dad and went into the, they were having lunch, you know, and there's like 500 people there and I'm looking around and all of a sudden, there's your dad. I mean, it took him about one second because he knew something was wrong. I told him and I had, didn't have nerve to tell him about running into the fence because I thought the house is bad enough. He goes out and looks, he says, looks like you ran into the fence. I said, you think I ran into the fence? <laughs> After all that? He says, yeah. And I said, I did. <laughs> he said, all I got to do is just look at the fence. There'll probably be blue paint on it. <laughs> so then, um, oh, the time I got ran over the cripple man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that wasn't really my fault. <laughs> That's right, when you gave me our, no, well, I had breaks. You had to pump them. I didn't know that. I didn't know how to drive. You know? <laughs> So I'm going down Garfield. And then Garfield and Burtonville. Yeah. Down Garfield Hill towards the grade school. And the block before, no, two blocks before you get to the to the bottom, there's a house with kind of like a, it's there still, like a stone, about two or three block high, little fence around there. Well, it wasn't there that day. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy was sitting out there in his wheelchair. And honest to God, I started putting on the brakes. And I mean, I didn't know that, that I had to pump, you know. And I put my foot down the no brakes. I thought, oh, shit. <laughs> so I made a quick way. I was thinking the same thing. Enough right into this guy's yard. And I'm telling you, him and I walked <laughs> on. <laughs> And he kept starting. He in his wheelchair and you in a vehicle. And he's wheeling. And I'm telling you, he could, I saw the side. <laughs> That's how bad that guy wanted to <laughs> He was trying to get up. Oh, my God. And he got all the way up. And this happened like in seconds, but it seemed like hours. He got all the way up against his porch, and then he went, like, well, run over me. I can't <laughs> And I got it stopped, and I tell you what, I never even said a word. I just backed up and got out of the <laughs> And the guy, I never saw that guy again. Because well, he died of a heart attack. And he put, he put up this little kind of stone. I know exactly how I You probably did that. I did. They, they put it up right away. <laughs>